after you watch this lesson, click on the link that's right below this video, and that will take you over to practicetheguitar.com, and there you can practice this exercise at 15 different tempos with full notation, tablature, backing tracks, and a lesson video, all designed to help you to improve your playing. Go check it out. For this lesson, I wanted to make a video that would cover single string soloing ideas. Just simple things that you can do working up and down each individual string. And what we're doing with this is we're using the A minor pentatonic scale. So this exercise covers a whole bunch of different things. Number one, learning the pentatonic scale one string at a time. Number two, alternate picking. Number three, hammer-ons and pull-offs. And then number four, just keeping the position straight while you're shifting through each set and getting those connected. The first aspect to this, number one, is just making sure that you have a good handle on the pentatonic scale. So what we have is five patterns of the pentatonic scale. For the key of A minor, we're starting here on the third fret with what I call pattern seven because it starts on G, which is the seventh degree of the scale. Then it moves to the root pattern, which starts on A, so I call this pattern number one. And then it moves to pattern three because it starts on C, so. And then pattern four starts on D. Pattern five starts on E. And pattern 7 actually begins over again on the 15th fret. Those are the five patterns, and we, most of us, know these five patterns in this one key. But the thing that we could do to go beyond that is to work on the patterns moving in this sort of linear fashion up and down the neck. And this gets you outside of playing just inside of each one of those boxes, and it also helps you to just better learn the, the fretboard and where those patterns fall on the fretboard. Number one, alternate picking. So what's happening here is we're just alternate picking each note. So right there, I mean, just if you don't already know that, just one string is a really good workout. But of course, we want to do this on every string. With the alternate picking part, you want to make sure that you're not tilting the pick too far forward or tilting the pick too far back. You want to try to hit the string just straight on. You want to avoid tilting it because it's going to give you this scratchy sound that you don't want. This way you hear more of the note and less of the pick attack. There is a place for hearing the pick attack, which are things like that type of thing. Overall, you just want a nice, clean attack on the note. If you try to keep your pick flat, that's something that's going to help you. Another aspect of this exercise that will really help you is, of course, doing the same exact thing with hammer-ons and pull-offs. And what's happening here is, rather than picking every single note, halfway through this exercise, just picking the first note out of every two notes. And because the pentatonic scale is usually two notes per string, it's not the only way to do it, but that's the most common way it's done, what I'm doing with this portion of it is just picking the first note and hammering on the second note. And when I'm going back down, I'm doing pull-offs. get the idea there. And what's happening is when you're doing a hammer-on, you want to pick that first note and then make sure you get a solid attack with your fretting hand to get the next note. And when you're doing the pull-off, you pick the first note and you want to kind of pull down and away to get the second note to ring. the idea to the pull-off. So that's another aspect of this exercise that you'll get to practice a ton along with the videos and the backing tracks that I put on the site. What I what I did is on the website I made just a page with all the videos at the 15 different tempos 
the lesson video that further explains everything that's happening and where you play each note on each string on each fret. And then there's also backing tracks that take uh, exercise out of the track so then you can play along with just the drums and the bass and the rhythm guitar. So then you can make this exercise and make whatever patterns you want to practice on your own without the guitar on the track. If these are all things that you think you'd get, that you would enjoy working on, you can just click the link right below, head over to the site, everything will be there. And with the tracks, I mean, you can really practice anything you want. But of course, the length of the tracks and the way that it's, it's set up is so you can practice this exact exercise, which is really, really helpful. And if you don't know all five patterns of the minor pentatonic scale, I have individual exercises for every single one of those patterns, as well as combined exercises to help you to learn those scales better across the neck, going up and down, going diagonal, and in every single different direction I've made exercises for that stuff. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and again, if you think you'll enjoy this, click on the link right below and check that out. Hope to see you next time.